This morning, an Ohio couple has filed a lawsuit against Bowling Green State University claiming that the school was negligent in the fraternity hazing death of their son. An autopsy found that 20-year-old Stone Foltz died, get this, with a blood alcohol level more than four times the legal driving limit. Mark Strassman reports now with our Columbus affiliate WBNS on the Foltz's new mission to end hazing. Stone Foltz died needlessly after drinking the equivalent of 17 shots of whiskey. You're just in such traumatic shock. Sherry and Corey Foltz, Stone's parents. Is there any way to describe the hole in your heart? It's exactly that. It's a hole in your heart. The pain never goes away. Prosecutors say that last year, brothers at Pike, Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity, told pledges like Fultz to drink a liter of whiskey each. His roommate found him unconscious. Do you see his chest rising up and down? No, not right now. Okay, and he's blue? Yeah. Okay, then he, there's a good chance he's not breathing. His final three days were in a coma. Eight fraternity members were convicted of a variety of charges, including reckless homicide. At least three will spend time behind bars. These are young men and women. They need supervision. And that's where the lack was with the university. The false lawsuit claims Bowling Green actively promoted its Greek organizations, but turned a blind eye to hazing. We believe it's a case of negligence, but I also believe it's a case of recklessness. Without accountability, there is no chance of reform. 100%. They have a legal and a moral responsibility to protect these kids. In a statement to CBS News, Bowling Green said Stone Foltz's death was a tragedy. However, this lawsuit is meritless, ignores that we have actively enforced our anti-hazing policy, and undermines our continued efforts to eradicate hazing. After Fultz's death, the school permanently banned Pi Kappa Alpha. Ohio's public universities adopted a zero-tolerance policy toward hazing, and a new state law made hazing a felony. Not enough for the Fultz family. We will do whatever it takes to not let this happen to another young man or woman or family to go through the nightmare that we live every single day. For CBS Mornings, Mark Strassman in Atlanta.